When you are there, when you are there, when you are there, when you are there. Shifting in this hall. Give your mom well. Canaba, the bello my omis. You the vehicles in your more every day. I don't know me, don't know your pure man. mighty name we are prayed now many of you are not unfamiliar with praying in the Holy Ghost my wonder is how come there are so many prayers and too little seeing and hearing and that's why we want to teach it quickly and come into it practically are we ready Luke chapter 16 Luke chapter 16. My desire is that there will be many. And today many prophets will arise, not just by shouting amen and falling down. Listen, listen, listen. You will arise practically and experientially right now. So please be desperate and be ready because the prophetic anointing is in the house. You will hear the voice of God concerning your neighbor now and prophesy now. Is somebody ready for that? Don't worry how it's going to happen. Just listen. The entrance of God's word brings what? Light and understanding to the simple. The moment you have received and understood this, you can now put it to practice in your own life. Enough of the confusion. A watchman is someone that can watch. Yes or no? How do you watch? How do you watch? Verse 22. No distractions, please, all right? Very calmly. I keep going. One, two, go. Please, you will stand with me, all right? sure we are all youths. There's no old man or old woman here. We know the story. Abraham and Lazarus and uh, the rich man, right? Alright. So in verse 22 he says that the beggar died and the rich man also died. Meaning anything you read after this verse is being done by somebody who has died. Yes or no? Come on. Any confusion so far? It's very simple. You understand. Anything you read after this verse is an activity being done by someone that is dead. Yes or no? Yes. Simple. Next verse. 
and in her. What happened? What are the things you notice this dead man can do? Number two, he can recognize, right? Next verse, 24. One, two, go. Stop there. So what else can he do? You are following. Next, what else can he do again? He can speak. Go ahead. Have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water. What else can be done in the spirit? You can taste. What else can be done? What else can be done? You can feel. Are you following to that point? Now, you will notice that these people are dead and yet they can perform all these activities. Now, we are taught that the brain is responsible for this, right? Are you following? What is responsible for all these behaviors? Where was the brain when this was happening? In hellfire? Where was his brain? What part of the earth? Six feet below, right? So what was performing these functions? Listen carefully to the next statement I'm about to make. The part of you the part of you that reasons, that thinks, the part of you that can host emotions is a spiritual part of you. If you follow, you are about to prophesy. Did you catch what I just said? The part of you that thinks, this man thought, yes or no? Where was his brain? So whatever was thinking is spiritual, yes or no? Simple. The part of you that can think and after this brain of you will be very careful with your thoughts because you are creating things that you don't want to experience. The part of you that can think, that can reason, the part of you that can make suggestions, that can feel emotions, your intellect, your emotions, your mind is a spiritual part of you. Is that established? That means, as we are praying in the Holy Ghost now, pay attention to the things going on in your mind. As you pay attention to that, you will realize that more often than not, God will speak to you in that part of your mind or in that part of your being because it's a spiritual part of you. Once I understood this, I realized that God was speaking more than I thought. And truly, my sheep hear my voice. Are we together? Some of you have noticed celebrate God's servant. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'll push for some few more minutes and then hand over. Are we ready? Come on. Are we ready? Some of you would have noticed that sometimes the thought comes to your mind. And as you think that thought, you notice that your phone is ringing. The person you are thinking about is the person that is calling. Has he ever saw you here before? Now, you would have thought about doing something. Then you didn't do it. And then something played out. And you realize you should have done it. And you say, something told me. As you train yourself, these are very simple basics. But end anyone in greatness. The hearing ear. Are we ready to rehearse? Are we ready to rehearse? So as you pray in the Holy Ghost, pay attention to the thoughts that go through your mind, the pictures. You would have noticed a man of God stepping out in the prophetic. Usually, they might not get all the details at once. You might have noticed someone do this. Who is Chine do here? And the person raises their hand, comes forward. He has not picked any other detail. And he steps forward to declare, the Lord is going to bless you, he's going to prosper you. And as he's saying it, he's seeing the picture of three people standing beside him. Say, how many children do you have? And he says, there are three. 
Now, you might have picked other details, but as you are asking your partner now, ensure that it's a question you are asking and not authoritatively telling the person so that you are not too shocked at the answer. Is that clear? The way you deliver the prophet is also very important. So usually you can ask what's it about your mother? You are sensing something about the mother but you don't really know what's going on but you just see mother. What is going on with your mother? Say she's sick. Oh, that makes sense. That's why I was sensing mother. Let's pray about your mother. Are you following? We just want to do a quick reaction now. Now for many of you it will be very accurate. You will see here at the same time and so on and so forth. But whether or not it was dramatic ensure that you step out by faith because that faith itself honors God. Is that clear? Secondly, note, if you are within the bounds of scriptures, you cannot go wrong. Is that clear? Is that clear? So simply utter what God would say. All that God has written is okay to repeat. Is that clear? Because we have a more sure word of prophecy. Are we together? So very quickly now, you will just join hands with your neighbor. You do it for two minutes, not more than two minutes. And once two minutes is over, you open your mouth and prophesy. And there's one last batch of people here. You will notice that anytime you are praying for a person, the person at the end of the prayer will say, you were praying as if you know me. Because you notice when you start praying for people, it's like you switch up. Have you noticed that, some of you? So for some of you now, you will notice that your tongue will be guided and you will find yourself saying things that you naturally will not know about this person. So pay attention as you are praying. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Is that clear? Is that clear? Oh? Are we ready? Now, for those of you who are very spiritual, you like speaking in tongues so much. Please confirm from your neighbor if that person is one of them. So they won't use tongues to prophesy to you this night. Tell your neighbor, I don't understand tongues. Tell your neighbor, I don't understand tongues. So speak English to me. Once you notice your neighbor wants to pray more than prophesying to you, you can tap him and say, in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Now speak as God will lead you. Like I said, nothing is coming to you. Go ahead and pray and bless the person. Is that clear? No pressure. Tell your neighbor, no pressure. You are a new creation. I believe in your anointing. I will be blessed tonight through your life. Are we ready? Praying the Holy Ghost very loud, very fast. Two minutes. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Expect to know things. Expect to know things, to discern things about the person. Just one neighbor, just one neighbor. Hold that neighbor. Pray for that neighbor. Expect to know something. Listen. Expect to know something. Listen as you are praying. Expect to know something. Jesus name. Now go ahead and prophesy. Go ahead and speak those words coming to your heart. Ask the questions you need to ask. Go ahead. Ask questions if you need to ask. I'm sensing this. Does this make sense to you? Ask questions. Go ahead. Ask questions. I'm seeing many of you not asking questions. Probe now. Ask questions. Why am I sensing this? Does this make sense to you? I sense God is doing this. I sense God is doing that. I declare this to you. I declare that to you. Ask questions. Why am I sensing this? Why am I seeing this? What's going on in this area of your life? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. seconds five more
more seconds. today ensure that in your times of prayer intercession you pick a name those of you who are wise will follow this instruction and grow those of you who are foolish will not take this seriously pick a name every morning you wake up to pray as you pray in tongues for the person desire to know something they didn't tell you are you hearing what I'm saying it's one day a person will realize it's one day a person will master an art you get what I just said? And I declare over you that this realm is established in the name of Jesus. Praying the Holy Ghost as we receive God's servants. Praying the Holy Ghost. Praying the Holy Ghost. Praying the Holy Ghost. In the next few minutes, can you go ahead and pray in the Spirit? Set your heart to receive tonight. Set your heart to receive tonight. The very reverend evangelist has set the altar. Can you open up your heart tonight? Oh my God, I sense an anointing in the house. 